Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today, we're gonna go over the brightness and contrast adjustment. And I wanted to go over like a little disclaimer first before I, I, I go over this, because brightness and contrast performs a linear adjustment to your image, and images are not usually linear. So what this means is that when you move the uh, slider, it's going to move the brightness. Every single pixel is going to get brighter instead of moving like um, the bright pixels a little less than the darker pixels um, and things like that. So this um, brightness and contrast isn't really recommended a lot on images, but it's good for things like clip art, text, and um, other images that aren't really photographic. But I'm going to show you how it works on an image, and then I'm going to show you why you might want to use it on like a non-image. So let's get started. Now let's pull up an image. Let's go to Image up here. Adjustments and Brightness and Contrast is on the top. Now it's a small chain, or it's a small menu here. We've got Brightness, Contrast, and we've got Use Legacy. Now, the Use Legacy checkbox, if you're wondering, that um, changes it to the CS2 style of brightness contrast. So let's go ahead and just adjust the brightness. And you can see that everything is getting brighter. And if we go to the left, everything gets a little darker. And if you go too far, everything gets all shitty looking. So don't go too far. Now, if you do like a little a couple smaller changes or something like that, that's not that bad. I wouldn't me recommend using this as your main color correction, though. It would be a better idea to use like curves or something like that. Now, we've got contrast here. And if you go to the left, things are going to get less contrasty. And if you go to the right, things are going to get more contrasty. And if you've seen like some of the people who make their images really contrasty, they start looking like this. This is probably how they did it. And to be honest, this is um, kind of like a noob way to do it. Um, yes, N-O-O-B, that kind of noob. So don't do it this way and uh, use your curves to increase contrast and things like that. So here we go. We'll put that back to zero. And now I'm gonna show you how the legacy is different. So if I click on use legacy and I increase the contrast, you can see how it goes a little crazy. And this is the CS2 version. And, you, and uh, you can go left, and it puts it all the way to gray. So that's what how the legacy works on that. And on the brightness, you can see that, honestly, I think the legacy version is worse. That's probably why they changed it. But um, there's still people that are still used to this kind of stuff. So they use legacy because they don't like change. Make sure you guys are uh, changing with the times and stuff like that, or else you get stuck in old, uh, old like uh, trends and stuff like that that aren't very popular and you get behind. So change is good when you're trying to learn new things. Now a cool trick um, that I like about with brightness contrast, if you start moving your stuff here and you don't feel like moving these back to zero or typing them back in, if you hold Alt, your cancel button turns into a reset button. You can just click that and it brings it all to zero. So that's all there is really to brightness and contrast. Um, not really much more to go over. Um, but just remember, oh yeah, yeah, I know what I was going to do. I was going to show you on a regular image, uh, non-image I mean. So let's cancel this. Let's go to our color scheme here. And here's a color scheme that I've got. And what I would do with this is put it on top of like... Um, my Photoshop canvas as a layer and then that way I could use my color picker here to like pick from it if I really if I really needed to um, or and then create swatches or something like that but what if your client looks at these colors and he's like yeah I don't really like these colors make them all brighter well the quick way to do that um, brightness and contrast so image adjustments brightness contrasts so let's make these a little brighter now you got completely different colors here so here's what it used to be, here's what it is now. So this is more of a brighter type. 
So that's a, a way that you would want to use that on these uh, on like a non-image kind of image. So this is just like a JPEG or something like that. Yeah. So um, now that's all I wanted to go over. So thanks for watching this one and uh, continue to watch. We're going to go over hue and saturation in the next tutorial. And um, I really like using hue and saturation. It's pretty cool. So see you guys in that one. Have a good one.